loves, welcome back to my channel. As you may or may not be able to tell, I am in the kitchen and that is because I will be doing a five day fruit fast. Your girl has never done this before, but honestly, I feel like it is very much necessary and I am willing to take on that challenge. Doesn't seem like a bad one, honestly, because who doesn't like fruit? If you don't, I mean, that's your business, but I feel like you should get into it. But personally, I think my body needs it. I've just been feeling really tired and moody lately. My skin has been looking really dull. And our outward appearance has a lot to do with what's happening inward. So I feel like it's just time to be a lot more intentional with the foods that I am taking in. Our bodies are temples and we should take care of it as much as we possibly can, as early as we possibly can. So I'll be bringing you guys along with me on this fast, just sharing some of the meals that I create and how I'm feeling each and every day. All right, y'all, let's just hop on into day one. So one of my go-tos was an acai bowl. You need mixed berries, a banana, any liquid of your choice. You can use fruit juice, I use coconut water. Sea moss is also great to add for extra nutrition. And then the acai packet, of course. And then you top it with your favorite fruits. I also added some hemp seeds and chia seeds as well, but this is completely optional. All right, you guys, so it is time for lunch and I will be having some fresh watermelon, blueberries, chopped mint, and some lime juice. I feel like plants as garnishment should be okay. Other than that, this is all fruit and I'm super excited. And then I went ahead and made some infused water. So this is lemon, mint leaves, along with some cucumbers, and of course, some filtered water. So yeah, you guys, that is it for lunch and I will see you guys tonight for dinner. All right, so we're gonna hop into another one of my favorite recipes, you guys. All you need is some cucumbers, tomato, and avocado. Slice and dice them however you would like. Honestly, just have fun with it. And then add as much as you want. I love some tomatoes, okay? And I use a whole avocado because why not? It's super filling and nutritious. And again, I'm using seasoning. I think that's okay. So I put a little salt, pepper, and some lemon juice. Hey loves, it is officially day two of the fruit fast and just a quick update of today. So for breakfast, I had an acai bowl. For lunch, I had just like a random fruit salad. So I pretty much took any fresh fruit that I had near me. And for dinner, I'm having a cucumber and avocado salad with some lemon juice on top along with salt and pepper. One thing I will add is that I've been loving lime and lemon juice to just put over my meals. It really adds like some zest to it. And I have to show you guys what I've been grabbing for a snack. I had this yesterday for dessert. So what I did was took some mangoes, make sure they're nice and ripe. You cut it open, put some lime juice on top, and then then put it in a blender, mix, 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 <laughs> and then with that puree, you put them back into the shell and pop them in the freezer. This has to thaw out a little bit because it's been in the freezer for quite some time, but when it does thaw out, it's so creamy and very delicious. So I might have that tonight, I may not, because my lovely mother made me some fresh pressed juice. This is orange, mango, and some lime. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this tastes so good. I will say for my mood, I'm a little tired today, if you guys can't tell. I have been craving lots of things. Today was kind of challenging when I realized I couldn't have any of those items. But in those moments of craving foods that I shouldn't be eating, I just grabbed some fresh fruit, such as a banana, some strawberries, watermelon, and definitely making sure I drink a lot of water because a lot of times we think we're hungry and we're just thirsty. So yeah, I'm gonna close up today and I'll see you guys tomorrow on day three. Woo woo, woo woo, <laughs> bye y'all. Good morning, well, technically afternoon. I am having a late breakfast. Um, so basically, I don't think I've mentioned this to you guys, but every morning I try to have some warm water with key lime before I eat anything. So for today, I'm having a berry smoothie. So it has pretty much every berry you can think about. Raspberry, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, a banana, and some coconut water. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast and I'll see you guys when it's time for lunch. So on this day, we tried something new and exciting. All of my favorite ingredients combined. Watermelon, mango, make sure it's juicy, ripe mango. 
some papaya lime juice on top and a sprinkle of mint. As you saw, we are having this gorgeous fruit salad for lunch. Y'all, I'm so excited. It looks amazing. But now for the taste test. Okay, so it's a lot going on because there's so many flavors at the same time. You have the super sweet mango, that minty flavor that hits you, along with the really refreshing watermelon. It's a lot, but I like it. And for dinner, I'm gonna do something really simple and recycle one of the meals that I've done throughout the week. So it's either gonna be a fruit salad or an avocado salad. And I most likely will go for option two because my avocados are super ripe and I don't want them to go to waste. To wrap up day three, overall my mood is amazing. I woke up feeling really great. I have so much energy. I feel light. Today is definitely much better than yesterday. Yesterday was not my vibe, okay? But today it's giving a 8.9 out of 10. Honestly, no. It's giving a 9 out of 10, y'all. I feel great. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow on day four. Stay blessed. Hi loves, it is day four and we are still going strong on our fruit fast. So for breakfast, your girl had warm water with a key lime and a fruit salad. And when I'm feeling snackish, I got a little cutie or banana or fresh watermelon. The options are limitless. <laughs> and then for lunch, I am having my go-to berry smoothie with a banana, so filling and delicious. So far, if I had to give a rating, it's also giving a 9 out of 10 kind of day like I feel really good energized and just excited like throughout the week I was counting down until day five like this challenge is almost over and now I feel like I've just fully accepted it and I'm totally fine with just having fruit so yeah that's how I'm feeling I'm feeling good and I'll see you guys a little later today was pretty busy I honestly don't know where the time went it is around 8 o'clock so I am pretty tired I just wanted something super simple so I went for a fruit salad I have a cutie strawberries grapes pear and a banana to be honest with you I'm not even that hungry so this will definitely fill me up if I finish all of it but yeah you guys I'm gonna wrap up day four I cannot believe tomorrow is the last day of the challenge like what feels good it feels great honestly so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow on day five <laughs> we made it you guys it is officially day five of our fruit fast to be honest this is a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be Anywho, for breakfast, I had a big old bowl of cantaloupe, mango, and papaya. And now for lunch, I'm having my favorite acai bowl. I have my strawberries, bananas, blueberries, hemp seeds, chia seeds. I will be tuning in later when I'm prepping dinner and let you guys know my final thoughts and takeaways from this five-day fruit fast. Hi loves, so I am back. I'm gonna call it an early night, therefore I'm having a early dinner. I had to go with one of my faves during this experience. So I have my papaya, watermelon, and mango. I don't like eating this particular meal too late because I just feel like it takes way too long for the body to digest. So since I'm having it early, this will be perfect. And then I'm having a homemade watermelon popsicle for dessert. You guys, this game changer so all i did was take my fresh pressed watermelon juice that i've been having throughout the week i put this in the popsicle little packaging um and then you pop it in the freezer and that's it it turns it into a popsicle and it's super fun to snack on especially during the summer heat if you guys want to make your own popsicles at home, I will link the packaging in my Amazon storefront and that will be in the description box of this video. So before I log off, I want to give you guys a few of my takeaways and overall thoughts about this five day fruit fast. Number one, mind over matter is everything. You'd be surprised the attachment that you have to food because to be honest, I truly didn't think I had one, but being told no, like no, you can't have steamed vegetables, no, you can't have quinoa, threw me off. Like you guys saw, it was a little rough for me at the very start of this challenge. So you'll learn a lot about yourself and sometimes you'll see that 
you're either bored or feeling moody and emotional and you want that boost of dopamine, you want to feel good, so you go to your comfort foods. This also helped to teach me how powerful our minds are because once I put it in my head like, hey, we're only eating fruits, this is good for us. After that rough patch, I was like going really well. I was excited to wake up and eat lots of fruits. So. That was one takeaway. The second takeaway is that this wasn't too expensive to actually do. So I'll show you guys a little clip of everything I got. And I got quite a few items for I think around $50, which I was really impressed with, especially in this economy, okay? I recommend going to a local Caribbean or Asian market for fresh and affordable produce. Farmers markets are really good, and I've heard Aldi's is really good as well. So just see what's around you and what has the best deals, fruits that are in season. I still have so much fruit left over that I will be having throughout the week. Third takeaway that I got is that you really just need to feed your body very nutrient-rich meals because I like to snack here and there throughout the day and I pretty much stuck to the meals that I showed you guys and if I got a little hungry I would grab a little cutie like I showed you guys or a banana but you don't need much and I think having that warm water with key lime in the morning was helpful. I also recommend having fruit infused sea moss things like that just to keep your body going because fruit will have you feeling pretty full throughout the day and you'll have so much energy. So this really taught me that sometimes you're probably snacking on all these foods that have a bunch of calories and a lot of chemicals and ingredients we can't even pronounce and it's really not doing anything for us but yeah if you're watching this video I definitely think you should try a fruit fast five days is really not that bad it will fly by once you get your head in the game and start making really fun recipes you'll be surprised how many different recipes you can create with fruit in case anyone's wondering I plan on breaking my fast with eating soups such as this one this is my first time trying this specific brand, but lentil soup, anything that's pretty clean and simple, salads would be helpful to just kind of ease your body back into it. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you're notified every time we go post a new video. Stay blessed, and I'll see you guys very shortly.